Okay, from here I'm going to start recording, all right? So this will start my review of uh, Onward on the Oculus Quest 2, which is what I've got on my head at the moment. Uh, this game is a more, I'd say, dynamic game than Population 1, the last one I did, in terms of its weapons handling. Uh, is a lot more, I guess, what's what I'm looking for? Um, intrinsic, uh, you can feel it, uh, it needs to be a lot more precise than the other one. You'll see as I um, go through some of the weapons exactly what I mean. Um, I do prefer this kind of game as opposed to Population 1 in terms of first-person shooter because weapon handling is uh, is more dynamic. You do uh, are able to transfer some of the, uh, I guess, neural pathways, the mo uh, muscle memory from what you've learned in uh, combat behaviours and um, shooting in the army, the F-88, into the um, style that uh, you can do in this one. And again, I do prefer using the, the style in this um, in this game for exactly that reason. I don't need to think about what I'm doing. Um, essentially, just going to muscle memory kind of thing, and I suddenly start reloading. Um, I'll run you through some of the, I guess, mechanisms with uh, reloading each of the weapons, um, as well as um, some of the other weapons. I'll go into some of the gameplay. For onward, keep in mind that there is no storyline as such. It is all against AI um, or against uh, other people, other online players, or you can play online with a group of four or less um, against a bunch of AI in waves. I'll go through each of those individually. What I'm going to start with now is the, the range, um, the weapons range. Talk you through as I go here. So you got multiplayer, we'll start with single player. You got operations there, where can you be just you against the AI? We're going to start with the shooting range. That's a good way to practice your weapons handling. Um, you got two teams, essentially Marsoc, which is kind of Western Volk, which is, I guess, based off the Russians. So I go Marsoc, Rafferman. Borgay 3, which you can see here, is a nice, pretty style. Um, you can change the sights on all of these. You can customize each weapon. You do have a point system down here, so you can only customize them so much. I do like the four times sight, gives me that distance. Um, however, I do like adding an angled sight, either that or a, a laser sight for that close up range. But you can see that's pushing me over the nine points here. Uh, you can have attachments to laser sights. Again, that's really good for uh, night shooting. Um, when you have the night level suppressor, it doesn't do all that much. Uh, let's see. Might get rid of my frag grenade for now, just so I can get under the points here. Red dot, so I might take that away, show you how to use the laser sight on the pistol here. So you do have a main weapon and a sighter. You can choose those here. And I'll go through each of these, uh, not individually, but I'll go through some different ones. Flare gun, don't really know what that does, and a few different pistols. It's got the rounds that it has, how many magazines you have, the kind of stats that that weapon has. This does come in handy when I go for, say, some snipers. Uh, the snipers are quite different, distant, different, sorry. So you can see some of them have 20 rounds, uh, two magazines. This one's got five rounds, seven magazines. That makes a difference when it comes to the amount of kills that you get. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I'll show you what the weapon range looks like. So you start here, you can see all the weapons in front, all the uh, targets in front of you. Weapon is down on your chest. You can see your magazines on the side, pistol on the side. This is a syringe. If you get injured, you can heal yourself, or if there's a down person, you can heal them. I'll show you that later. So you can see, you just grab it with the uh, grip, right? That's how you use the middle finger, right? Grab it, and then you can go to the front, again, middle finger. You can add a, what's called a virtual stop, right? That's in your settings. What that does is as you bring it into your shoulder, you'll see, it creates that third touch point right here, right? It makes it easier, more stable weapon, so you have one touch point, two touch point, three touch points being the shoulder. Usually you have a fourth being the cheek, but not so much, right? So by the trigger, obviously, targets turn black as you hit him, you got moving ones. You do have this uh, part up here, 
You can angle the weapon a little bit. However, if there's the angled sight, right, it goes straight to the angled sight. You can see it is easier when it comes to closer targets using the angled sight. And when it comes to reload, I'll just get to that soon. Again, me, I like using single fire, but this one is fully automatic as we release. You can see I'm out of rounds. All right, so what you do is you just release the handing, uh, the grip button, right? You press A, right? A is the button you use to reload. So if you're gonna reload, press that A button, right? Grab the magazine, same grip button, just throw it away, you don't need it, right? Grab out the other magazine, all right? Place it in, and now you can do the old cocking, all right? Here you can see the button is there, right? The um, catch release button, however, that doesn't really work. The way to use that is press the B, right, on the uh, gripping hand, on the main, uh, your dominant hand, right, and that releases the weapon pass forward. From there, you can continue firing, all right? I'll do that again. Right, reload, put it in, B, and on you go, all right? I got one more magazine left, all right? I'll sh uh, obviously, if you are in a pinch, what you can do, let's say you're firing at someone here, Right, you don't have time to reload, so you bring the weapon down by the hand, right? You can put it down with either hand. All you have to do is drop it at your chest and it automatically drops. So I know some of the uh, infantry dudes might like to use their main, uh, their dominant hand to come down and grab their pistol as they, no, with their dominant hand, as they lower the weapon with this hand, right? And this. You can't grab two weapons at once, right? Keep that in mind. So, as you lower this, grab your pistol, bring it up, and fire, all right? And then, once you neutralize the targets, yep, no enemy, you can reload this if you want, press the A button to eject the magazine, next magazine in, all right? And then, when you have time, there you go, you're good to go, all right? Uh, something to keep in mind, all right? You can see the rounds in this magazine, all right? It includes one in the one in the chamber, all right? So this is uh, pretty good. Another reason I like this, uh, these weapon mechanics is it includes one in the chamber as you know most uh, other first person shooters don't. So, oh, round around, all right? But if there is one in the left in the chamber, you can essentially throw it, put the other magazine in, and you don't need to cock it because it includes that one in the chamber. Now when you are out of magazine, you can run up to this ammo box over here. Right, you lift it up. You can see you can grab some of your magazines, put them in the pouch. It depends what's in there. It's a couple of my magazines down here. I'll see if I can find a grenade for you. That's the kind of grenade I want. Here we go. This is bad boy. Okay. So you can see the, mag the uh, grenade here, you can put it in your pouch here, all right? Grab the magazine, all right, with your trigger finger, you can pull the pin, all right? This, you can see the uh, lever is still in the grenade, all right, no timer is going. If you throw it, the timer starts three to five seconds as per usual, all right? But what you can do is if you want to cook the grenade, all right, click the uh, joystick here, you see it clicks it, timer starts, and then you throw it, all right? Bang, those people are dead. Now you can also get flashbang grenades, as you can see. No, that's a smoke. Smoke's good uh, for uh, online player versus online player. However, it's not very good for AI. AI seem to be able to shoot it very well. That goes the same with these uh, flash grenades, right? You pull them. They're very good for person to person because right now I can't see shit. If you throw into a room where people are, you can go shoot them. AI doesn't seem to work, right? That is a downside of this game. All right, so you can see as I cock, if I did cock the weapon, right, round comes out, right? Just with your normal weapons handling system. All right, so that's what I've got now. Another good uh, version of this shooting range, right? is this kind of close shooting simulation, all right? So I like to, get, again, go with the 
uh, angled side in, right? It does look a bit funky in terms of using the left and right hand, uh, eye, sorry. Let's see, how's it looking there? Yeah, so I like to shoot with both, both eyes open, right? It takes practice, but it helps you look at other targets, all right? Where it actually feels very similar to as it does uh, on the range in real life, all right? In terms of both eyes open, right? You can switch between eyes to see your second target. Pretty good. So let's go through this range. You can see some targets pop up. Comes one, two, three, four. Missed him. So now would be a good time to do a tactical reload, all right? So you just get magazine off, put it away, but that's not working for me. Put the other one in, right? Now you have 31 rounds. Right, you can see as you move with the weapon down, you move faster as opposed to with it up. All right, that's just simple in terms of the way that you move. So if it's up, you move slower. That also means you uh, make less noise on the ground with your foot down. This is a pretty satisfying game to play after hours, right? If you just want to release, you know, let off some steam. Fire shooting people, I'm going to shoot back. Now you can do this as part of a team, I'll show you that later. You die. All right, so obviously this is very good with, um, urban operations in terms of getting a team through, right? So even if the first person goes down, next person's there to fire there, all right? And I'm just trying to show you now when you run out of weapons, what happens. See, I shot through this, all right? Some of the plywood, it can shoot through and hit the target on the other side. All right, keep that in mind when you're using uh, cover. So remember the differences between cover and concealment. Ah, oh, shit. See, it would have killed me. So we're dead, right? Out of rounds, down, up, dead. All right, no more threats. Really, all right. Now, if you did want to change weapon, you're right. If you did want to change weapons, change your loadout, right? The only way that I know how to get out of this, oh, there you go, is the Y button, right? Left hand side at the top, the button, change the loadout. Essentially, end your life, you can go change your loadout. Burking while streaming. Who's burking? You're looking or I'm looking? All right. So we'll go through some other weapons, all right? Um, all right, I'll go through this MK16. I just want to show you another weapons mechanics, all right? So if you're firing, 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 let's say you're out of rounds. Some weapons have the ability just to press the uh, A button down here and it drops a magazine, all right? Just like an M16. Grab the next one in, press the B button, release the weapon parts forward and then you're good to go, all right? That way you don't, it's not like the style where you have to press the A button to pull it out and such, all right? So that's that. Kind of weapon, just different weapons have different weapon mechanics. So make sure as you go through them, as you choose them, you test them out before you actually put them to the test. All right, that will do for the assault rifles. Let's go some specialist weapons. What do we got here? No, MP5. Um, feel like a pistol on steroids. So again, you have to press the A button to release. Uh, release this, still one in the chamber, now you're out, magazine in.
Ah, okay. So this one, when the, you're out of rounds, you can't just press the A button, right? Like you can the other, um, the other weapons, right? So you're, you're out of rounds, take the magazine off. Magazine on, you actually need to cock it. You can see the cocking handle here, right? And then you're good to go, right? So again, some weapons you have to uh, figure out where the cocking handle is because it's different with different weapons. I won't go through each weapon individually, I just want to show you some of the different weapons. Where are we? Where are we? P90, right? One of my favorites for close, uh, close shooting, right? In that it has 90 rounds, it's nice and compact. All right, obviously this isn't a single shooting, you just absolutely rail them as you go through. All right, now as you go to reload, you'll see, yep, out of rounds, magazine is at the top, all right, pull it out, drop it, next magazine goes in from the rear, all right, cocking handle on the side, all right? Again, different every weapon. Not every weapon, a lot of them. Um, what else? Shotty, right? That's a fun one. So here you go. Bang. It says a bit of a spread. I think you can. Might be able to change it to a buck shot. So it's less of a spread, more of a distance kill. Right? You can see I'm out of rounds. Right for here, it's one shell at a time. Right. Bring this on a hold six, you can see if it's not going in, you're obviously pulled out. Right? You can press the B button, release the working box forward, and bang these right up. Right, that's that. Okay, right, here we go. Right shield, ballistic shield, that's not overly good for offense, obviously. You can't knock them over like you could in Call of Duty. You hold it to the side, you have your pistol. That's the only weapon system that you can have a, a weapon in each hand or a shield and a pistol in each hand. Not very good for offensive, but if you have someone behind you, you can draw their fire while someone behind you takes them out. All right, so that's specialist. You can see the different classes here. Um, we can go, yeah, this is one of my favorite weapons. Um, Favorite weapons for uh, AI, right? Because there's a lot of uh, bad guys, right? This one just is very good for ammunition. So before you, you use it, you can see it's not actually loaded. Unlike the other weapons, you actually need to load it. So you can see, well, action it. So you can see it's already at load condition. So you press the A button, right? To go get into that reloading function, I guess. Trigger to get the, mag the feed cover up, right? Rounds on the tray, cover down. Cock it, and then you're good to go. All right, so once you're out of rounds, eventually. All right, it says a lot of rounds. You could also see as we headed towards the end, the belt actually came up and into it. So you press the A button to drop the magazine off, right? Magazine on, feed tray up, you don't have to sweep it, right? It's already gone. Down, there you go, all right? That takes, <laughs> that takes practice, all right? You can see there, as I went to grab the front fore grip, right? It accidentally grabbed, yeah, that happens sometimes. Accidentally grabbed the, um, uh, the weapons, the bullets, all right? Once that happens, you actually have to reload it again. So, you have to be precise as to where you actually grab it. All right, so this is, uh, yep, the machine gun, the LSW equivalent. Am I going for time? All right. Yep, this one you can see it's got a uh, magazine in the bottom. That's essentially just a machine gun, uh, well, a rifle with a shit ton of rounds, right? In terms of you don't have to go on the feed tray and you get the feed tray up and everything like that. This is, I haven't really tested it yet, but it seems like a bit of a good all-rounder in terms of the reload time and the magazine capacity, right? It's also got a bipod. 
I shall we'll show you how to use the bar code. Uh, let's see if I can just get to the back to the firing range. Yep, I'll see you, go away. Just wait to finish. By the way, to move, it's a joystick on the left. Right, you don't have to run all this way through your living room. All right, so magazine, right? You've got the weapon by the main hand, all right? Trigger on the bipod, all right? There you can put it on a surface, all right? And then you look down the sights, and there's a lot less recoil, right? Than there would be otherwise. Still not too bad with this weapon, all right? But this way, you can just absolutely spray. Spray as you go down, all right? Helps, especially with snipers and the bipod for that distance, all right? It does help because as you bring it up, there is a fair bit of movement, all right, when it comes to a distance. So bipod does help in that way. All right, let's change the loadout, have a look at our final class, which is snipers, marksman. All right, this is my favorite. Mostly because I find it satisfying nailing someone at distance. All right, so trigger off, then oh, rip off, all right. Grab the working parts, bring them back. Yeah, all right. Now you can, if you hold your left arm still, keep an eye down the sights as you do it. So you keep an eye on the bad guys, all right? All right, now I think I counted four shots, which means this magazine should be empty. I'm in the chamber. All right, next magazine in. Now I should have five rounds. Let's see if that's correct. No, it's not. I miscounted. So, as I use them. Let's pull the magazine out. You can see there's only one round in there. Right, so what I do sometimes is as I um, do, go against AI, I'll count my rounds so that I know, yep, now I've got one in the chamber. Crap. One in the chamber, magazine off, magazine on. All right, six rounds in there, and I can keep going. All right, just takes away that possibility of the click shit, you know, moment. Thanks, Harry. All right, what's next? All right. By the way, I'm recording this. I'm going to put this on the uh, Balloon Commander um, YouTube channel. All right. So, oh, shit. Hopefully, I didn't have that off for too long. Have you got? Have you been able to watch the... Um, I didn't have the, the screen go black, did I? I've just got this glitch at the moment where I need to keep my mouse on the Chrome page. All right. So, I'm going to put this on the YouTube channel. Um, channel so you can watch this later on if you wanted to. All right, so that wraps this up. Let's get out of this. So it brings you back to kind of this tent here where you can just turn around and hit X. Bring you back to the main menu. All right, so we've got a single player. I'm going to go operations. All right, this brings me into this list here. You have the different maps that you can choose. Some are by day, some are by night. All right. As I go down, there are some ones here that you might not have. The reason, the reason for that is if you go into this workshop here, you can download maps that are made by anyone. Anyone and everyone can make a map. I personally don't know how to do it, but you have Speedball, you've got Rust, you've got Nuketown, um, Airport from Modern Warfare 2, uh, what looks like Tetris, oh, Block World. That looks like, um, what's that game, Mario Kart? Yep, so you can download these. It's pretty easy. You just hit that and then go update or subscribe and that downloads the map. All right, so that when you go into single player and operations, those options are here. All right, one of my favorites is, let's say, downfall. Click into that, bring me into that. You do have a few options here. You just got Marsoc. So you can go hunt or evac. Hunt is essentially how many bad guys you want to kill. Right, evac is just a certain amount of time before a chopper comes in, you gotta defend your location and then make it to the chopper. Uh, I 
prefer Hunt, all right? They have changed around the difficulties lately. Um, before, about a month ago, last time I played, uh, experience was pretty much impossible. Um, but I think they've rejigged it so that it's actually possible. Before I was, uh, that update, I was playing Elite um, with certain people. If you have a really good team, you can do Elite or Veteran. But just for the purpose of this, I'm going to go with Rookie. All right, let's go to Marksman. There's my get up there. Yeah, that looks about right. When you play against the AI, you get more points uh, to, to play with. As you play with other players, you get less points, so less attachments on your weapon. Um, so it is just me here. Let's crack on very quickly. Oh, there are... Nope, I did not include my... Um, uh, I hate that game. Um, I did not include my MVGs. So MVGs and equipment that you start with at the start. So marksman, yeah. Yep, I took off MVGs. Night vision goggles, right? Very handy for night for obvious reasons. Air drone, not really useful, neither is ground drone. Maybe in some of the play that you play ones. Extra syringe, it's good for healing yourself and others. Um, body armor. Really handy given it's usually a two to three kind of shot uh, shots before you die. Um, where are we? All right, here we go. So, to bring the night vision goggles down, all right, trigger on the head, just bring it down. See, here I am. This also helps with uh, uh, laser sight, all right, so you just click the trigger on the bottom and you can see the laser sight there. So you put it away, see as you bring it up, it's there, all right, so you don't have to find the sight and actually do it, you can kind of shoot from a bit lower, all right. You can do that with styles, you can, or any rifle, you can just touch a laser and it's very handy for night shooting. So I'm gonna find myself a little position up there, find a little nest and start picking people off. Now next week I am gonna get a community game going. I might have picked a automatic, a semi-automatic. I do prefer the challenge of bolt action rifles. It just gives you a very satisfying kind of feeling as you go. So I might bring bipod out because it is in longer distances, plus bipod down. Alright, so as you do this, you have a watch here, right? You can see 10. That means 10 bad guys left. You can also see a bit of a compass, so you can do those call outs to north or 45 or whatever. Because mine disappears to be in degrees, yep, and not minutes. You can see the AI in this are very stupid. So I just nailed that dude's mate and the other guy didn't seem to give a shit. Either they are not very friendly people or they didn't realize that the mate was shot standing right next to him. Uh, at night with a snot with a suppressor, right, it is easy to do this quick shooting and no one really realizes. During the day, you do start getting fire from right across the map. See, here we go, he's seen me. And he's called his buddy over. Yep, here we go, and his mates over here. See their fire? So they're coming over.
All right, too late. So once you kill him, it just says victory, and then you wrap it up. So I'm just going to end it here so that I can go on to another page. All right, what's next? What's next is we're gonna start a online game, show you what it's like playing with some other people. So, go to multiplayer down the bottom here. I prefer to go to server browser so I can um, pick what I wanna play. There's really not many servers going. That's a worry. So you can see those uh, random progress you can't really join onto unless um, uh, you can jump into some big game, but not really uh, many of them. So let's hope so Subway, original map, same as Suburbia, uh, abandoned, I don't think is one, but you can see that's in loadout. So I'm gonna try to join him before he jumps in the game. Yep, I have downloaded this game, it appears, this uh, map. Oh, it seems very glitchy. Jeez, not sure I want to be in, in this. No, he's not even there. I'm getting out of this game, it's too... Jesus, I'm a VR is catching a virus with that one. Right, let's try another one. You can essentially show what you want to show in terms of the service. So let's just open that up a bit. Man, it used to be like 14 servers running at once. Um, let's see, so the one against four, that shows that it's uh, just you and your guys versus AI, all right? But if it's one against 10, um, or nine out of 10 or however, that means it's shooting against some bad guy, against other players. So let's try to find one in loadout, all right? So we can join him before he jumps in the game. You can join other people in the shooting range as well. Don't really know why. Wait, 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 fuck. All right, so. <laughs> He just started this game, um, which is a shame because he doesn't know that I've joined in. So he's now in that game there. I can see him there. Um, what you can do is when this is you know full of people, you can indicate on your board. Yep, this is where we're likely to start. You know, this is where the bad guy is. I want to hold up here. Um, and usually, what he's sent up with is something that looks like this. You can go to the razor and just get rid of that. Usually ends up with, uh, yeah, we've got an FUP here, an FUP here. Uh, the objective is here. Got to make sure we have uh, two avenues of approach, right? Because we've got enemy movement here and enemy movement here. And this is our reverse rotation. That's usually what it ends up like, right? Get that out of your face. Okay. Anyway, we'll uh, exit out of this because we don't know how long he's going to be shooting people around the corner like that. Let's try to get into a game where I can actually show you what the interaction is like with other gamers. Ah, oh, come on, no, you're a shit. Um, all right, let's just try this. So this one you can see respawns enabled, that means while well, the game is going, you can jump into it. But it did say in loadout, which means it should be in this little tent area here. If it loads. You can pick a team, you see one over there, one over there. Come on. Very glitchy again, All right? So some American servers or foreign servers, it seems there's a bit of a, oh jeez. Hey guys, can you hear me? Hey mate, where are you from? Japan. Japan. Okay, my uh, connection is very glitchy. You know, my um, high ping. Yeah. 
Uh, no, sorry, I don't understand. Arigato. Uh, so sometimes you do jump into um, lobbies with uh, the heroes from Japan. Sometimes you get uh, America. I'll play with Germans. I'll play with Chinese. Chinese is fun because I speak a bit of Chinese and it's good to practice that. Um, all right, let's... Really disappointed that there's not more... More servers. Let's see if I can join this real quick before he goes in. When I do start a community game next week, I'm going to... Hey mate, can you handle me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, Alright, um, so I'm streaming at the moment, if you don't mind, that's okay. Where are you from, man? Germany. Which part? Bavaria, Munchen, Nuremberg. Okay, so you can see here again, I've got another German. This one happens to speak uh, English quite well. All right, so we're now in this uh, tent ready, right? We might be waiting for other players. He might want to start it. You can see there's a star next to his name. What that means is he's uh, the host and he can start it when he's ready. All right, you can see he's uh, dictating that it's punt, all right, which means it's an elimination. Uh, experience, so that's the level of difficulty, and uh, 20 being 20 enemy. So you can see I've gone with the Steyr here. Um, yeah, he's changing that around. Um, what do you reckon, mate? Did you want to have wait for more people, or are you ready to play? Okay. No, there's not many. Oh, onward. There we go. We got one person. Hey, man. Onward. Where are you from? Uh, originally, Ukraine, how about right now? So where are you now? San Francisco, there you go. Um, I'm streaming right now, you know, if that's okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I think we are good to go. Yeah, been a while. Oh, here we go, slap magic. Hold on, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. That's okay, there's one, one more person. Oh, how about we go back for him? So you can either click the uh, give up button or do what he did and end up like a crime. There he is, slap. Alright, let's get into it. Australia, we got Australia? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're in Australia. I'm Australian. Yep. 
Let's go. Schnell, schnell. Dabei, dabei. Fuck! Fuck the hell! Holy shit, I got you, man. Holy crap. Scared the fuck out of me. Huh. Alright, moving up. Oh shit, I'm down. Thank you, Where'd that come from? Shit, he's gone. Where is he? Yeah, he's in the garage. Yeah. Is that a happy warrior? Uh, grenade? No. Oh my god! <laughs> There's a lot of them. That was not done, I believe it. Sing first, our special Zeta. I mean, but Where do you want to go? Scheiße. Grenade! Yeah, well, grenade got us both. Yeah. I bet the grenade got us through the Hesco barrier. Alright, I'm off, guys. Have a good one. Alright guys, so I'll uh, wrap this up here. Alright, so I'll start a community game, alright? I'll put details in at the, well, Sam will put details on the Facebook page. Essentially what you'll have to do is go down to multiplayer. Alright, you'll see, uh, I'm gonna do a, where is it? Co-op hunt, alright? You'll see balloon commander just below it there. Right, you also see a little lock sign next to it. So when you try to go into it, the code into it will be 2222, but that will be in the Facebook post. All right, so what we'll do is do a uh, community game this time next week or probably seven o'clock next week. All right, again, details will be in that post. From there, uh, we'll play the game. And at the end of that, I'll do a quick little teaser into what will happen uh, my review for the next week. All right. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.